Let's do. You gotta meet Parker's favorite. I say we name him Daryl. Or for you? That's cute. Excuse me. Oh, you're checking out a certain date? What? Well, my birthday's the end of May, if you're planning a surprise. Oh, well, darn. You caught me. I'm gonna go uh, tuck Parker in. Oh, wait, hon. The nanny just took him up. And uh, you've got two and a half months, by the way. What? Joe, you don't, you don't really want a, a birthday party, do you? Hmm. And you don't really want a wedding in June. You're counting the days to figure out how much time you have to trip up Jack and Julia before he marches down the aisle. No! I am sick and tired of sitting down, standing by, just, just waiting and hoping for this to change. I cannot live like this anymore. I won't. This has got to stop tonight. You say you saw David again? Yeah. Yeah. And this time, I was having a good day. Well, something must have triggered no, it, Julie. Do not tell me that something triggered it. There was nothing. I was trying so hard to make myself be okay. You knew this wasn't going to be Jack, easy. Jack had set up this beautiful, romantic evening for me. I, I did not even let myself think about wanting a pill. That's good. You were using your <laughs> I willpower. I put it all behind me. Tonight, it was going to stop. The nightmares, the memories about David, everything that's been driving me crazy. And, and I was totally fine. And all of a sudden... I, I saw David for no reason at all. I am just so sick of being scared. Did um, Jack know what happened? No. No, and, and he won't. Because, because it's all just up here in my screwed up head. So you want another pill now to block out David. That's the excuse for tonight. But there'll always be one, Julia, because you're hooked. No. No, no, no. I'm going to get David out of my head without those pills. That's why I'm here tonight, because I have taken that poison for the last time. You really think you're ready to face what it'll take to quit tonight? Yes. Tom, we finally got a break. Susan, I to... am on my way to my first counseling session. No, wait, 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 wait. This is from Emily's bank manager. She wrote a very big check, and then she called the bank and she tried to get them to cash it. You, you, you drove me to Oakdale. You said you were going to set me... No. Oh, God, no, no, please, no. The, the baby, the... The world turns. I will do whatever it takes to get my life back. You've been tapering on? <laughs> yeah, but I still have the cravings, and, and you're right. I mean, everything triggers it. Carly, insomnia, a new job, feeling insecure, a hangnail. Damn, David. It all started with him. David's death. If I could go back to the day... And I first took one of those pills to block it out. I would flush the whole bottle because now I'm trapped and nothing helps. Well, that's not true. Yes, yes, it is. You, you took me to that grave. You, you forced me to admit that I wanted him dead. And, and I admitted that. I admitted how guilty I felt. But nothing has changed. Well, Julia, no matter where time. I go, no matter what I do, those pills and David are always controlling me. What do you want? For me, Julian. I want David out of my head. I want, I want to stop feeling powerless. Well, I can guide you, but the power, that has to come from inside you. <sighs> Do not tell me to just say no or, or schedule a million hours of sessions with you. You have got to give me something to end this. Now. All right. Then you give me... 24 hours.
you turn yourself over to me completely. Overactive bladder. Those strong, sudden urges. Going to the bathroom so often. Wedding accidents. Discover prescription Detrol. Detrol is proven effective to treat overactive bladder. Detrol reduced bathroom visits by 2.2 times in 24 hours versus 1.1 times with a sugar pill. Stay a little longer? Love to. 1.2 fewer wedding accidents occurred with Detrol versus 0.8 fewer with a sugar pill. Similar decreases over 24 hours. Do not take Detrol if you have certain types of stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems. The most common side effect is dry mouth at 39.5% for Detrol versus 15.9% for sugar pill. Common but less frequent ones may include dry eyes, headache, constipation, and indigestion. Head back? Not right now. For more product information, call us or ask your doctor about prescription Detrol. Proven effective to treat overactive bladder. Brad, I asked my doctor about Detrol. Words can't express the feelings kids have about the bad taste of some medicines. But now there's something new from Children's Tylenol. Soft chews. They taste so good and dissolve so fast. Kids won't mind taking this medicine. Words can't express how good you'll both feel. I feel better, Mom. Well, maybe a few words can. New soft chews from Children's Tylenol, the first choice of pediatricians. Kelsey, what you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Listen, Kelsey, do Daddy a favor. Don't touch the Kids will get into water. That's why they get into Little Tyke's new super water spout mower. A giant water tank lets them blast water 10 feet to either side. Designed with a built-in bubble dipstick and built kid top. The super water spout mower from Little Tyke's. Fun that lasts. You act like I'm obsessed with Jack. I have many important things in my life. Name two. Parker. Playing with Parker like we did today. Except for that, that little sexy Sesame Street moment you concocted because you think that you can still con me into marrying you. Oh, so motherhood is all for you. Yes. Yes, it is completely, totally. In fact, I'm not going to give Jack and Julia a second thought. <laughs> Stop that. You've got a lousy poker face. Not hiding anything. Oh, no, not from me anyway. I mean, you always try to pretend like nothing gets to you, but anyone who knows you can read the signs. What signs? Your eyes, for instance. Whenever you get blind jealous, you do this funny little squinty thing. Th I'm, not, I'm not jealous. I, I certainly don't squint. Oh, honey, by the time Julia's decked out in white satin, your eyes are going to be slits. You're going to want to use me then more than ever. <laughs> use you for what? Exactly, besides comic relief. Oh, come on, Carly. Do what you want to do. Say you'll marry me. Sweetie Pie, I'd rather marry the next man who walks through that door. Miss Tenney. You could do worse. Mm. Dr. Dixon's here. I told him you were busy, but he insisted on coming in anyway. Oh, oh thanks, Kevin. Yeah, I guess I should have called first, huh? Hiya, no. Brad. No, no, that's quite all right. So what can I do for you? I thought maybe we could work out a... Uh... A visitation arrangement with me. Before you give me a hard time, remember we got a court order right, on this. Right, right, and I know. The court order which says that we must work together to create a schedule which is mutually agreeable. Right. No, I, I think that we can do that. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And while we're speaking legalese, um, I think that we ought to start the divorce proceedings. Why? No time like the present. Hey, look, we already got a, a, a legal separation here, you know? The, the divorce kicks in automatically after six months. Well, that, that's just too long. Hey, honey, uh, Margo, it's Tom. Um, I hope you get this message before you go to the session. Listen, uh... I'm gonna have to cancel. There's been an emergency, and I'll I'll fill you in uh, when I see you next. Okay. We were right to ask how to open that investigation. God knows where she is, but she had to pay somebody a hundred thousand dollars. 
So you talked to the bank manager about this? He spoke with her. She identified herself and gave him instructions about how to how, what to do with the money. And nothing else? Well, he said she was very businesslike and, and abrupt, and, and when he tried to ask her a few questions, she got right off the phone. So she didn't want the call to be traced? Well, somebody didn't. She's been gone for weeks. Now, and, and, and there wasn't any, any activity on her bank account at all. She didn't use her, her, the cash machine or any of her credit cards. She never wrote a single check until now. And then suddenly, she needs $100,000? Yeah, I think I see where you're going with this. I'm not going. I'm there. This proves that Emily's been kidnapped. I'm, I'm not sure what you mean when you say, turn myself over to you. Well, tapering off slowly obviously isn't working. You're still having hallucinations. You still crave the drugs. It's time for more drastic measures. Like? Well, first we need to get rid of all the narcotics in your system, and then you have to deal with your feelings without that crutch. <laughs> but I need the pills, and what will replace them? I will. That's what I mean by turning yourself over to me. It's an intense form of therapy. 24 hours of detox. Cold turkey. Um, I heard that that can be... Yeah, very rough, yeah. At times you'll wish you were dead, but at this point, if you want to be free, there's no other alternative. But I, I have a job and a fiancé. I mean, if I'm in withdrawal, he's, he's going to notice. He won't be there, Julia. You and I will handle this together. But... Jack, I'm, I have to at least tell him. Not if you want to succeed. The family and friends mean well, but they cave in too easily. They can't take watching you suffer. We live together. I can hide this from him. You and I will check into a motel. And I will stay with you all night until it's over. Just the two of us? Alone? Julia, I'm the only one who can help you. I know everything about David. I know all your feelings surrounding that. I'm the only one who knows what you need. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Cancel the rest of my appointments for this evening and uh, all day tomorrow as well. I'll let you know when I can continue office hours again. <laughs> Put on your best suit, your finest shoes. You are cordially invited to Lobster Fest at Red Lobster. Indulge in all of your lobster favorites. From delicious lobster appetizers to mouth-watering rock lobster tail at the most casual prices of the year. Escape to Red Lobster for Lobster Fest. Hurry, ends April 4th. You want the inside scoop? People in the know use New Preference by L'Oreal. Take it from me, color doesn't get any better than this. The secret? Special new anti-drying conditioners, so my hair won't dry out. Now my hair is softer than ever before, right down to the ends. And Preference has stay true colorants, so my color won't fade out. So I have golden color, long lasting color, simply glorious color. New Preference by L'Oreal. Pass it on. You're worth it. When arthritis pain hurts, you want relief fast. But pills can have side effects. Rubs can have odor. Asper Cream's different. Rubbing in Asper Cream relieves minor arthritis pain fast. No side effects, no odor. Asper Cream, pain relief without aspirin. Everybody grab a spoon and do the cool whip. Woo! A rub it dub dub, make it battle with the tub, do the cool whip. There's a toothpaste so advanced, it keeps working even after you stop brushing. That's Colgate Total. It works all day, wherever you go, fighting cavities and tartar while you're gearing up. It fights bad breath while you're going strong. It even fights plaque and gingivitis while you're dreaming. Long-lasting protection, Colgate Total. The brushing's so advanced, it works between brushings. Officers Harm and Mack will go to the ends of the earth for justice. David James Elliott and Catherine Bell star. Jag, CBS Tonight. I won't lie to Jack. 
I don't want to. But I, I don't want him to see me go through this. It sounds like you know what's coming. My mother was a charter member of the uh, overindulged ladies who lunch club. I've seen more than a few of them head off to Betty Ford to get off tranks and, and diet pills. The detox stories aren't pretty. Well, detox isn't pretty. I've heard there can be some pretty wild symptoms, like um, seizures. Oh, it's rare, but it could happen. Shouldn't we have a doctor on board for this pajama party? Well, having Oakdale Memorial in on this may not be the best way for you to kick off your new career. And then your fiancé would find out how far gone you are. I'm not going to let Jack get dragged down by this. If it came out that Jack's bride-to-be was a druggie who had to come clean before the ceremony, we would never hear the end of the gossip. So, no MD at the pajama party, then? I'm gonna do this by myself. No, no. Correction. We're gonna do this together. The next time Jack sees me, I'm gonna be a free woman. I'm gonna dump that poison that has screwed up my life. I'll book a room at the motel across the street. I know it's a flea no, bag, but... No, somehow, I doubt that I'm gonna be noticing the ambiance. Oh. Yes? Dr. Hamilton, Jack Snyder is here to see you. Thanks for the message, Tom. Yes? Just tell me that this emergency, whatever it is, has nothing to do with Emily. Honey, look, you know I wouldn't cancel on you unless it was important. That's not what I asked. I know, but we finally got a lead. This could be the break you look for. Look, if you've got to go, go. No, no, I, I, I hate disappointing Margot, but this has to come first. You believe it? You think that's what happened, that David kidnapped Emily? Possibly. I mean, probably. The, the Oakdale police never even checked to see if he was after her. They didn't believe a word that she was saying. But if he's been holding her all this time, until she paid him the ransom, I mean, you see it on the news all the time. Once the kidnapper has what he wants, then, hey, then hey, he doesn't have any hey, use for the victim, don't, don't, and that's don't, when... Don't, 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 But she could even be in more danger than, than she was before now that she's paid him. Should we call Hal? I mean... Look, that is my next call. I want you to go to the bank manager, okay? See if you can get anything else from him. Uh, it's just so unreal. Look, the good news is that she finally contacted somebody in Oakdale. Now, we have to hang on to that. But it's such a small thing. It's just a phone call. And everything, it could mean Susan, everything, or maybe it doesn't mean anything. It's more than we had before. In the beginning, when she was first gone, I, I used to be able to talk myself into sleeping by telling myself that she was just playing games, that she'd be home. But then, when she didn't come home, I don't know, lately I've been, I've been lying in the dark and I just think and I think and I drive myself crazy and I'm so afraid that she's been hurt or she's dead. Or... Hey, don't. Look. We know that she's in trouble. But we know that she's alive and okay. And so is the baby and that's what we have to believe in. Okay. Okay, now listen. You need to go talk to the bank manager. Please. I will call you the moment <gasps> I've spoken to Hal. Promise me you'll have your phone. I will. I will. I'll call him right away. Yeah, Oakdale, please, 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 don't put me on hold, idiot. Yeah, please, please don't put me on hold. Lieutenant Hal Munson, for, uh, just, I, I'll get back to him. Margo. from the Pons Institute. It's simply amazing. Introducing new cleansing and makeup remover towelettes. So revolutionary. One single sheet cleans dirt and removes makeup in one simple step. Wow. 
A dirt-loving fiber gently draws out deep down dirt, makeup, mascara. Even the dreaded waterproof kind. Leaving skin soft, healthy, completely clean. In just seconds flat. New cleansing and makeup remover towelettes. Only from the Pons Institute. hours on my feet they're tired and achy relieve tired sore achy feet with johnson's foot soap this unique three ingredient soap gives warming triple action relief that penetrates soothes relaxes ah soothing johnson's foot soap there are times when hawks can be dished out by the pound the original deliciously moist all butter pound cake sarah lee add some delicious to your life Observe my precious little pumpkin. Would I ever mislead this adorable bundle of joy? Is the earth round? I mean, this guy loves the taste of his V8 Splash fruit juice drink. So would I tell him only V8 Splash has 100% of both vitamins A and C? Or that it's good for him because it's from V8? Nah. Besides, he's got other things to concentrate on. Like the ball. V8 Splash. To health, happiness, and harmony. Now try strawberry banana, citrus blend, and fruit medley with that fruit punch taste kids really love. It's America's number one passion, the love affair of a decade. CBS Daytime, the most watched network for 10 consecutive years. This week, don't miss the flashbacks of some favorite moments in your favorite shows. Celebrate, and thanks for making CBS Daytime number one. Could a new gun safety device prevent tragedies like the Jonesboro School Massacre? Tonight. From the producers of Touched by an Angel comes TV that hits home. We are friends, and we will get through this. The New Promised Land begins CBS Thursday. What's the rush here? We had the two divorces down in the Caribbean, then the marriage from hell, and we've been playing legal games ever since we got back up here. It would be nice, you know, to maybe have a life for a bit, some downtime. Well, for how long? Well, I don't know. I like, as I say, I could do a few things. I like to go back to work. Okay, so what do you mean? You mean like three or four days? Because I could handle that, three or four days. Why don't we just let the damn thing, you know, sail off into the sunset like that? If I never had to hire a lawyer again, I could die happy. I, I think that we ought to make a clean break, you know? And thus far, things have not... Well, they've not been clean. Carly, you got custody and everything like that. What are you doing here? You cooking something up? No, no nothing. Are you trying to come across as some kind of deal to keep Parker out of my life? No. I, you can't do that. I won't stand for that, All you know? All I want to do is, is free us up to, to start... To start our lives. I mean, John, you're sort of floating around in limbo land. That can't be fun. So this is to, to free me up so that I can move on? Is that what it's about? Well, say you want to pick up the pieces with Lisa. So what, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> what? You want to do a little horse trading over this thing? Is that what you want to do? Huh? Listen, how do you like this? I give you the quick divorce and everything, huh? But you give me a little bit more visitation with Parker, say, like three days a week? What? Yeah, it'll be just a deal, but an agreement between no, you and me, that's No, no, no way! Yeah, I'm gonna say hello to Parker. You think about it, it's not such a bad deal. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. You shut up. And don't you dare say another word about my poker face. I mean, with all you've got and all you want, you've got to play it much smarter than that. Jack's here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He, he found out. No, he couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe he didn't believe me when I told him that I was covering somebody. Julia, relax. Or I've been making relax. so many excuses lately. Maybe he just saw right through it. Oh, my God. You have to help me. You have Julia, to help me, Jack. I can't Julia, find out about stop this. stop it. Don't give in to the paranoia. You have to stay focused. Yeah, but Jack's here. Listen, Jack will not find out anything because I'm taking charge. That was our deal, remember? You've given over control to me. I'll take care of everything. Okay, that's better. I'll get rid of Jack. Good night, 
Dr. Hamilton. I'll see you tomorrow. Jack, you here to schedule an appointment? No, actually, I want to talk to you about Julia. Well, you know, doctor patient confidentiality no, doesn't I, I, allow me to. I don't want information, doctor. I just want to know how I can help her. You love her very much. When I first met Julia, she was this funny, kind of loopy, incredible woman. In fact, she had a prince following her around, trying to uh, put her up in a castle. But <laughs> all she wanted to do was move to a small town and have a porch with a wicker swing. Oh, that sounds idyllic. Yeah, she wanted a normal life. 2.5 kids, loving husband, golden retriever. <laughs> Then that SOB took her. Oh, that would be David Stenbeck, Oakdale's most notorious criminal. Junior division. His father actually took top honors. Look, I want her to be as happy as she was when she first moved here. Now, maybe I might know something that could be useful in her therapy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not unusual for a significant other to have a session or two. All right. Well, if it'll help, I'm there. Tomorrow morning good for you? No, actually, I'm, I'm booked up tomorrow. It'll have to be next week. I'll have my secretary call you, Jack. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, mission accomplished. All those things he said. Jack is way too good for me. I, I cannot believe I let this garbage get in our way. Listen, after we're sure Jack is gone, we'll go over to the motel across the street where there are no pills, there are no distractions. We'll check in under an alias. No one will know who you are. You okay? Yeah. I know I have to do this. I'll just... I'll call Jack, make some excuse, some story to cover my absence. No, you'll call him from the motel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I just came on so strong there. But it is part of the process. You have to depend on me. And know that for your own good, you have to do everything I tell you. I thought the baby was coming, but it's okay. Calm I thought down. the baby was coming early, Calm but everything's down. okay now. Calm down. Calm down. I'm here. I can't believe it. I'm really here. You're really here. I did it. I did it. I told you I'd get us out, and I did. did I got job. us out of that hellhole. You did a good job. Yeah. You did a good job. You did a good job. Okay, try to calm down. Okay. Can I get you something? Water? Anything? Breathe? Come on, breathe. Okay. Yeah. I understand you authorized a, a check for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars to give to David to pay him off so he'd let me go. He kidnapped me from Fairwinds. I've been his prisoner, Tom. But you got away. Yes. You got away. I got away. I got away. Just a little while ago, I got away. But he took me to this old warehouse and he was gonna shoot me. He wanted to kill me and I got away. But he's gonna come after me and. I know it. You believe me. Tell me you believe me. Every word. Yeah. No! 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 Stay away! Do Stay it. away from me! Stay away! Stay away! Once upon a starry night, I had a bulky diaper that didn't fit right. Just then, something new, like out of a dream. A new, better-fitting Huggy Supreme. A narrower middle, a new contour, form-fitting leg elastics, and what's more, a concentrated absorbent core. And a fit to stop leaks like never before. For flexibility, Huggies is virtually unmatched. And that's the truth. No strings attached. Fighting Tartar. Brushing may not be enough. Introducing the only mouthwash that helps fight tartar buildup, new Tartar Control Listerine. It has the same germ-killing power as regular Listerine, plus helps fight tartar buildup better than brushing alone. If you're going to fight tartar, make it an unfair fight. New Tartar Control Listerine. When brushing starts, Listerine finishes. Here's what's new from Blue. Music. Presenting new sing-along Blue. Just squeeze Blue's paw, and she'll play music. Squeeze her other paw, and she'll bark along. You're the best, Blue. <laughs> play the Blue's Clues way. That's what's new from Blue. My concern with the home pregnancy test is did I do it right?
First response understands. I could see its clear stick working immediately. So I knew I did it right. For an accurate, fast response, trust first response. Your baby's life is full of milestones. But I've learned starting table food too soon shouldn't be one of them. Research shows that easy-to-eat adult foods may not provide all the nutrition they need. Many are not as good as these baby foods in providing valuable minerals like zinc, so important in developing a child's immune system. Don't let a milestone become a mistake by starting adult foods too early. Besides, don't they grow up too fast anyway? <laughs> Stay tuned for more of As the World Turns. For Faith, love was written in the stars. He's here. And she's traveled halfway around the world to find it. I'm Damon Bradley. From the director of Moonstruck. I have a confession to make. My name's not Damon Bradley. What? Academy Award winner Marissa Tomei. How could you do this to me? Robert Downey Jr. Because I'm in love with you. Only you. CBS Tonight. Welcome to Howie Mandel's version of When Animals Attack. You never know what hilarious things are going to happen during Howie's March Madness. Coming up, Barbara Mandrell. Plus, John Fugel sang from America's Funniest Home Videos. Today at 3 on CBS 2. As a police officer, I've taken my share of risks. But when it comes to my family, there are certain risks even I won't take. That's why I had Protection Service Industries install an affordable first alert professional security system. Call PSI at 1-800-218-1911 for a no-obligation security survey to protect your home and family. And now, special packages start as low as $49. Take it from me. A first alert professional security system from PSI is the best way to protect your home and family. What if you could treat wrinkles like an expert would? Introducing Rock, the number one anti-wrinkle cream in France. Developed with dermatologists, this pure and active form of vitamin A works deeper inside skin surface. In a 12-week study, the appearance of fine lines was reduced by 86%, wrinkles by 42%. Something more superficial beauty treatments could never promise. Rock, we keep our promises. Monica hits Hollywood and a celebrity mansion tour on E.T. The address is CBS. Welcome home. Emily? Emily. No, he's not going to Give me the gun. Give me the gun. He's not going to get you. Give me the gun. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill you, too. It's not. You're safe here. You can hide in here. Come on. No, Tom, please, no. You can hide up here. Oh, God, no. Hide up here. Uh, yeah. Who is it? Denny? From the messenger service. I have some stuff here for you from Argus. Uh, who came up the elevator with you, Danny? Um, no one. Just me. Hey. Hi. Hey. Thanks. Appreciate you bringing this by. Uh-huh. Hey, it's okay. Come on out. Did David follow you here from the warehouse? No. I mean, I, I don't think so. I would have seen him, right? Yeah, so then you are safe here because there's no way that he knew you were headed here, all right? You think I'm safe? You're safe. You think I'm safe, David? You have no idea what he did to me when he held me hostage. You know what? I don't even want to talk about it now. I want to take you to the hospital. No. Yeah, I want to have you and the baby checked no, out. No, no, I'm fine. The baby and I are fine, okay? Now then that do I'm it free... for me as a precaution, No, please. all right? I just... I need you to hear me, okay? I need you to listen to me. I will later. No, now. I need you to listen to me now, okay? Because there were times when I thought I was going to lose my mind in that place, but thinking about this day, and then, and, and when I would get to tell you what happened to me, it, it pulled me okay, through, Tom. Just calm down. No, I dreamed about this, okay? It kept me sane. You have to believe me. Okay. Tell me now. All right. All right. The first time he grabbed me, I, I fought him off, you know about that. And the second time, I, I watched you go into the ante room and he caught me by surprise and he took me away. And he locked me up in this room, this little room. I didn't know where I was. It was cold and it was damp. And I call out, but no one ever answered me. I prayed you'd find me, Tom. Finally, I realized no one would ever come. I mean, no one would believe me. But that was my own fault. I, 
One day they sent in a nurse to check me. And I hit her over the head with the food tray and knocked her out. I remember that's when I called you. That's when I called you. And they, um, they caught me. And they stopped me. And after that, they, they really kept me locked up. I started to lose track of the days, and I kept begging David to let me out. I dreamed about you coming to get me. You never came. I tried to keep fighting for the baby's sake, but it was so hard. And one day I felt this twinge, and I, I thought the baby was going to come early, but it was just a false alarm. Thank God it was a false alarm. But I realized that I had to get out of there. My baby could be born in that horrible place. And I got the idea. I got the idea, and I offered David money. All the money I had. And he went for it. At least I thought he did. Until he pulled a gun on me. <laughs> yeah, he's sick, all right. He's twisted. Sick and twisted, but he's smart. He's so smart the whole time. I was there, Tom. He never let me see his face, not once. I mean, the man disguised his voice. But he made sure I knew who he was and what he could do to me because that was so important to him. He got away. Okay. Yeah, I got away. He got away, and then we got in the car. We got in the car to get the money. And it was... It was weird. It's like the first thing I... I thought of was it had been so long since I breathed fresh air. Oh, wow. What? What is it? I don't even know how long I was gone. What day is it? It's the end of March. Oh, my... Oh, my God. Have we gone that long? <laughs> You've gone over two months. Uh -huh. Tell me what else happened. Uh -huh. Well, I figured, since he got all the money, he was gonna let me go. He was gonna, he was gonna let me go free, but he, he just wanted the money, and then he was gonna, he was, oh my God, he's gonna come after me. I know it, he's gonna no, come after me. I won't me. let him, I won't let him. He's gonna come after me, and he's gonna kill me. He's gonna, unless, unless what? The warehouse. At the warehouse, we fought. Yeah. I got the gun, and I ran away. I don't know how, but I, I ran away, and I fired back a warning shot, you know, to scare him so he wouldn't he wouldn't follow me, and he stopped. Did you hit him? I don't know. I mean, I, I, no, I can't imagine. How could I hit? I, I, just, I just shot the gun. I didn't aim or anything. It was dark. All right, let's, 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 let's call Hal, and I'll go over to the warehouse. I'm going to go with him. No. You need some rest. No, 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 I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Tom, okay, Tom, go and with Dave. Me. Where is the warehouse? Off Old West Lake Road. It's like a, a, a theater warehouse or something. There's, there's scenery inside yeah, of it. Yeah, Lieutenant Hal Munson, please. You should have played, John. I did. You think you could have done better? Parker could have done better. Let's review. First, you went warm and fuzzy, which puts him on guard. John knows you hate his guts. I was setting the bait. By hitting him with the demand for divorce two seconds after he walks in. Babe, you're wearing your agenda on your sleeve. I don't want to hear this. You blew it with John. John is not my concern right now. That's Julia. Bingo. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I meant that. Okay? You keep on with the cave girl tactics, you're in big trouble. Now this takes, like, short jabs with a stiletto and you're swinging a battle axe. Hmm. You know something? Maybe you're right. I think it's time for me to regroup. Be more subtle. Well, I, I can be subtle. I can't wait to see you try. Jack and... is making the mistake of a lifetime, marrying this wingnut. She's a mental meltdown waiting to happen, not to mention a pill popper. And you plan on sharing that information how? You gonna skyride it for Jack and stop the wedding? I'm gonna be civilized and subtle. 
we're all adults. I'm just gonna offer the happy couple my congratulations. Uh. Right? Really, only, of course, I'll have to do it in person. So James took off after cop to the accident. Yep, went to pick him up. Thank you. Gone without a trace, classic James. Yeah, I, I should have been on that case, Margo, I told him. Oh, come on, you're good, but you're not. Hey, come on, I know James, and I know his M.O., and I should have been on that job tonight. <sighs> no, you know what? I'm glad I wasn't on that job tonight. You know I wasn't? I got a life. You know, how, how long have I been after James anyway, since I moved to Oakdale? And the woman I loved, she was nearly destroyed because, you know what, let him run. Let the sucker run as long as he wants. Let the Phibbies take over. I'm out. The Dawn! Yeah, he's probably in some island right now anyway, buying the local poles and sipping drinks with umbrellas. And... Game's over. You're out. Yeah. You know, maybe this is a sign. Maybe there's more to life than being a hotshot cop, huh? Oh, Jack, you're so yeah. mature. <laughs> Julie and I set a day for the wedding. June 25th. Oh, great. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it feels great, you know, just being happy. Oh, man. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, can I be a little more sour? Uh, you're, you're entitled. No, no, I'm not. I don't want to be bitter and depressing. I'm sorry, I don't. It's just that Tom stood me up on something. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes I come off like a corny love song, so I'm sorry. Oh, I, I love your corny love song, Tom. <laughs> No, this is great for you. Oh, this is your golden time. Both of you just live it, love it, enjoy it. I'm so envious because, you know, you're just starting out and everything is going to be so good. And you got a chance to do things right. Well, thanks. You know, Julia's had a really rough time of it, but uh, she's coming through it okay, you know? Yeah. I would think with all the standbacks out of town, kind of mm, releases some stress. Yeah, for all of us. Yeah. Look, how long has it been since the town's been free of James and David, huh? The freedom. Ooh. Mm. God, I am never gonna make it through this night. Jack. I have to call Jack. He's gonna freak if I don't come home tonight. Uh, now my hands don't work. I just want to make a phone call. Julia, take a breath. Take a deep breath. Take another one. Now slowly pick up the phone and dial. Snyder. Hey, sweetheart. It's me. Uh... Listen, they, they asked me to work the graveyard shift tonight, and I think it's actually a pretty good idea because um, I get a feel for late night memorial, and then I... So, um, don't wait up for me, okay? Yeah, but you're, like, covering for someone now. You sure you want to pull a double? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Um, okay, it's getting kind of crazy around here, okay? So I better go. Love you, sweetheart. Okay. So now what do we do? We just sit around here and wait for me to fall apart. <laughs> Drink this. You don't want to get dehydrated. Inside you. Now, now, rule number one, you never lock me out. Now, what's happened? I just told you. Look, that's bull. You talk to me now. It's David. Um, I don't know, maybe it was the hallucinations from earlier with Jack. I, I just, like, keep flashing on him, and it's not, like, normal, actually. Uh, not like him in the grave. It's David uh, alive. Julia, look around. We're alone. It's just us. Yeah, that's what I don't get, you know? I don't know what it is in this room that's making me think of David. Dear True Value, after three attempts to install a faucet I bought there, your salesman did something kind of amazing. He offered to come and help do the job himself. 
At the price for his services? A ride to my home. It made me feel great. And I think the true value guy felt pretty good about it, too. Until the ride back to the hardware store. Will you come back for dinner? Well, morning, Hank. Going for the toaster strudel with cream cheese, huh? With its light, flaky crust, creamy do-it-yourself icing, and delicious cream cheese filling, what would you do to get some Pillsbury Toaster Strudel with cream cheese? Sure am looking forward to one. Thanks for thinking of me, Hank. Ooh, is that for me? Yep. Designed with floss in mind, the Colgate Total Professional Toothbrush has gristles that clean down and around teeth and along the gum line. Colgate Total. Thank you for calling Metro Cablevision. All our representatives are serving other customers. Gonna be a little while? Grab some Snickers Minis, because nothing handles your hunger better. A little hungry? Why wait? We look forward to serving your cable needs. Even the toughest greasy stains like spaghetti sauce are no match for Resolve Carpet Cleaner. No wonder it's number one. That's okay, cowboy. Resolve gets you out of the toughest spots. Is a big odor taking over your little space? Stop it with Wizard Stick Ups. Fragrances that change your world. You know, tonight's been kind of strange. What? First, Julia forgets that she has to cover for someone, so and she has to take off real fast, and now, now she pulls a graveyard shift? Well, she's probably just really excited about her new job. I mean, I know I was when I first started on the force. I lived on black coffee and candy bars, and finally the chief had to put me in a squad car and give me a special escort all the way home, and it felt so special. <laughs> but I guess that's not what you're talking about. No. Maybe that's her now. Hi. Hey, Jack. I uh, heard you set a date. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, well, um, I'm just sitting here with your brother, and uh, I was thinking, why don't the four of us get together for a drink? Yeah, to celebrate. Uh, no can do. Julia's working. Oh, really? At night? Well, I'm sure when she gets off work, she'll be all the more ready for a glass of champagne, right? Well, that's not going to be till about 6 a.m. Mmm, jeepers. Talk about dedication. Some other time, then. Well, I don't know when that's gonna be. Yeah, Julie's putting a lot of hours in now, so, uh... But, uh, uh thanks anyway for asking. Hmm. Jack says she's too busy. I, I guess I'll just have to call her myself, right? I'm out of here. No, wait, you, you can't leave now. Do you want me to stay around and see how clever you are and offer my applause and approval? No, Brad, you said that, that I was too obvious. I, I want to show you Carly the understated, Carly the subtle, you know? You can show off for me some other time, some other way. Let's give Julia a break from her big career at Oakdale Memorial. Hey, that, that hallucination spooked me. Good, that's because David, is, he's with me. I want a pill really, really badly. No, no pills. You've got nothing but me, these four walls in time. So let's talk, let's talk about David. Let's confront the devil. Why, what difference does it make? Because you have to kill the dragon that led you to the pills. I don't want to fight, I, I want to forget. Well, I want you to remember. I want you to remember everything about this David that you hated. Everything that led you to being an accessory to murder. Murder? Is that what you think? I didn't You did not understand because David was evil. He was evil. He, he thrived on revenge and on making people suffer. So he was a monster. That's, that's how you saw him. Yeah. When he came back after the Valletta sank and he had me in the Snyder kitchen, he held a gun to my head and I could feel how much he enjoyed it because he hated me and by the end of it, I hated him too. Rule number two, 
You ask my permission for everything. I do not want to talk about David anymore. Well, you don't get to choose. Oh, I want to stop. I just want to stop. No, you cannot run and hide from this. Look, my now, you are going to sit with your feelings for as long as I say. My skin is crawling, okay? It's, it's hot. It's itchy. I, it's burning. I'm wired and I'm exhausted. I know that I'm not going to sleep. I just want... What? What do you want? You know what I want. Damn you, I want a pill. No, that's not what you want. You want David to be gone again. You want to watch him die again because maybe this time he'll stay dead. Isn't that right, Julia? Julia! Yes, I wanted him to die, and I still do. Because everywhere I go, his, his eyes are, are watching me. He's still with me. Well, we're alone here. It's just you and me. You're with me. And you'll be with me all night. All right. Now we'll have some TV. <laughs> Discover well being in the healing garden where insightful green tea therapies let enlightenment shine. The Healing Garden, holistic fragrances for the mind, body, and spirit. Stop ignoring me! Those engineers put me here because you need Jet Dry in your rinse cycle. Give me some Jet Dry. Let me fight that residue in film. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that, brilliant! Jet Dry. Mwah. Your dishwasher was designed for it. No two women are shaped exactly alike. That's why a woman gynecologist designed OB, the first tampon with individually wound layers that expand to fit each woman's individual shape. A tampon that was different from all the rest to give you truly personalized protection. The OB tampon, also available with an applicator. OB, protection, fit for you. I love my life my husband, my two little girls, my job. But when I get a migraine, everything suffers. So what do I do? I take Excedrin migraine. I found out it's the only non-prescription medicine that's FDA approved for migraine pain relief. It really works for me. It gives me the strong, fast relief I need. But what really matters is it lets me get back to the life I love. Excedrin migraine, trust me, it works. Now, it's Sears Portrait Studio. It's blue! Spring portraits are only $5.95 a sheet. And with your portrait purchase, get Blue's Big Treasure Hunt Storybook free. Spring portraits, only $5.95. Only at Sears. The end. Quick Dissolve Maalox contains calcium. Get more calcium than regular Tums with new Maalox Quick Dissolve Jewel Antacid. The calcium is an added plus, definitely. And it dissolves faster than Tums. I can't improve on that. Quick Dissolve your heartburn away and get more calcium. So if you won't stay in the car, just stay here by the door. Stay here till the police come. Okay. Over there, around the corner, that's where we were when I got the gun from him. Did I, did I hit him? Huh? What? Em, just, just stay back. Stay Why? Back. I, what are you... David. Yeah, whoever it is, he's dead. Well, of course, I wouldn't be calling if it wasn't an emergency. I need to speak with Julia Lindsay right away. Well, no, she's there. She's there right now. I have the information from her fiance, for God's sake. She's going to be there all night. What? Wait, wait, wait a second. Julia Lindsay is not even on the schedule to work at all today. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, 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 Julia. Either Jack lied to me, or you've lied to him. <laughs> no. Julia. No. 
What, Julie? What happened? Tell me. Back! You get back! What is it? You're here. You're David! my invitation to my class reunion, Daryl got out my yearbook. Look at your hair. I was looking at my smile. Sure looked a lot whiter and healthier back then. So I switched to Crest Extra Whitening. It works kind of like a dentist paste to gently polish away stains without bleaching to let the natural whiteness of my teeth shine through. That's right. Hey. 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 Kim, I know that smile. Wait. You haven't changed a bit. Uh-oh, we have to go. Yeah. Remember this? Yeah. Oh. Behind that healthy smile, there's a Crest Kid. This cold Klaus and Dill. Yeah, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know it tastes Ooh, brilliant. Clausen, the pick of pickles. Kids love color wipe offs from Crayola. They color for hours with special washable markers and the color wipe off board that lets them color again and again. Look for the whole line of color wipe offs. There's only one Crayola. If you could leave just a little bit over at every meal, it would really add up. Imagine what you could avoid eating in a single month. If you're significantly overweight, 30 pounds or more, depending on height, your doctor has something that may help you eat less. It's called Meridia, and it can help you lose weight and keep it off. You've got to do your part. You've got to do your part with diet and exercise, but Meridia can help. Meridia is a prescription medicine, and it's not for everyone. It can substantially raise blood pressure, and it's not for people who are pregnant or nursing, under 16, or taking anything else for weight loss, depression, Parkinson's disease, migraines, or for people with anorexia, glaucoma, or serious heart problems. Side effects may include headache, constipation, insomnia, and dry mouth. It's a controlled substance, so patients who abuse Meridia may become dependent. For more information, ask your doctor or call 1-888-4-MERIDIA. I'm, I'm ready. Meridia, you do your part, we'll do ours. CBS Wednesday on 60 Minutes 2. What happened to these children was a scandal, a lie, and a secret. But the secret's about to come out on 60 Minutes 2. Then, why would a doctor try to destroy her mentor? You are unfit to operate. You really do hate me. Richard Crenna guest. Payback's a bitch. On an all-new Chicago home, CBS Wednesday. A family of cops faces a test of loyalty. What's going on? When a friend is accused of murder. Joe, you said you wanted to help. All new terms, CBS Thursday. Tonight, on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather, could a new gun safety device prevent tragedies like the Jonesboro School Massacre? The story later. Today at 4.30 on CBS 2 News, a medical breakthrough for sinus sufferers.